Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know regarding the Frost Mage for PvE in patch 7.1.5. So we'll start off by taking a closer look at your stat priority, which talents are good for single target and AoE. Your dungeon spec will also be in this guide as well. Quick disclaimer, I don't consider myself being the best player, but of course I'll do my best to keep it as accurate as possible even though my gear is badly optimised. Now let's jump into the first part of the video, the stats. With the Iceland spec there's a crit cap you need to hit, known as your shatter cap. It's just around the 30% range and this makes your ice lances crit 100% on frozen targets. So your stat priority should look like this. Int, crit, haste, verse and mastery. Now let's go over the few talents. In the first tier you want to take bone chilling. In the second tier you can pick between shimmer and ice flows. I personally really like shimmer because of the way you can blink and cast at the same time. In the third tier you can take mirror image for short fights or encounter flow for longer ones. Rune of power is pretty good for dungeons as well. In the fourth tier you can choose between Frozen Touch or Splitting Ice. With the Iceland spec, Frozen Touch isn't better in my opinion, but it doesn't really matter. In tier 75 I'm going to go with Frigid Winds, the other two talents are mostly for PvP. Tier 98 I'm taking Unstable Magic for Raids and Arctic Gale for Dungeons. And in the final tier you're going to want to take Thermal Void because it has the highest damage output of all three. Now let's move to the most important part, the rotation. In the rotation we're going to be casting Frostbolt most of the time, making the relic of Frozen Veins more powerful and crucial to the spec, and Haste is really good for Frost as well, but we need to talk about the idea of a rotation. The basic idea is we're going to want to keep using our Ice Lances to extend the Icy Veins buff, so the more Ice Lance procs we get, the more time we can keep up Icy Veins, which will help us put out more damage. Now for the opener you're going to want to pre-pop, pre-cast Ebon Bolt, Icy Veins, use your Flurry proc, Ice Lance, Frost Bolt two times with your Pit's Water Jet ability to get two Ice Lance procs, and then dump them. Use Frozen Orb to get more Ice Lance procs and fire them off to extend your Icy Veins buff. Use any flurry procs you get. Just keep casting Frostbolt to fish for some Ice Lance procs. Cast Frostbolt with Water Jet when it's off cooldown. Dump any procs you get. Use Frozen Orb off cooldown and use those procs as well. And if you use your, lose your buff, just cast Ebon Bolt, use the flurry proc and keep casting Frostbolts. Use any procs you get, but if there's no procs just use Ice Lance at 5 Icicles and make sure all your cooldowns are ready for the next icy veins. But that's about it for the rotation, it's not super hard but it may take a few tries to get the muscle memory down. But anyways guys, that's it for the video, I hope it helped, if it did let me know in the comments below, and I hope to see you in another video real soon, <laughs> but until then, take care.